True the Vote has been fighting for election integrity since 2009. After the 2020 election, it wanted to know the extent of ballot harvesting around the country. It's an organized crime. It was perpetrated on Americans by um, advancing um, bad process, dirty vote. Catherine will go through this here in a moment, but dirty voter rolls, <clears throat> um, ballot boxes, um, all sorts of mail-in ballot capabilities. Um, and you roll all that up, and, it, and it's quite evident to those of us that have spent the last 15 months of our lives um, developing these numbers that this was indeed an organized crime that was perpetrated on Americans. In Wisconsin, True the Vote focused on Milwaukee, Green Bay, and Racine. It bought trillions of commercially available cell phone data points, filtered out normal activities, and determined who was making multiple trips to local nonprofits and the drop boxes during the two-week run-up to the fall election. It identified 138 individuals who made over 3,500 trips to the drop boxes in those three Wisconsin cities. There are ballots collected, there are ballots prepared, there are ballots delivered, and, um, and the result then, of course, is a, a, a control of the, the local area of the local jurisdiction. The investigators estimate that this trafficking operation accounted for 7% of all mail-in ballots in Wisconsin for that election. But they were careful how they characterized those ballots. We're not saying that all of these ballots are illegal. Um, what we are saying, though, is that they are being exploited, and we believe that's tantamount to abuse. I want to just be really clear. Are you saying that, there are, that this is evidence of fraud or not? What we are saying is that this is evidence of what, what we consider to be ballot trafficking um, that your law suggests is illegal in practice. True the Vote made five recommendations on how Wisconsin could stop this abuse from reoccurring in future elections. Lawmakers say they're already on top of it. I would like to remind you that the state legislature has passed bills addressing those issues and they have been vetoed by our governor, okay? So I want you to know that the state legislature is serious about eliminating those weaknesses and tightening up the laws and we don't have cooperation with the executive branch. We are a legislative body. We gather information and we use that information to create new laws. And that's exactly what we're doing here. And everything that you're giving us is legitimate information and information that should be gathered. So we're doing exactly what we should be doing here. This was the 13th informational hearing the Assembly Campaigns and Elections Committee has held on the 2020 election this session as it continues to investigate any and all leads concerning ballot integrity and election fraud. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.